again with you and this time I've decided I think I'm gonna try doing a uh, weekly video series and I've decided to call it what the hell Wednesday it sounded like a good name to me um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be talking about each week if it's gonna be uh, gameplay commentary or some variation of gameplay commentary and something that's on on my mind or uh, feedback from any comments I receive from other videos or topics that people suggest to me. Um, I'm going to get back to that in a second. Now, uh, as always, be sure to like my video. I do really appreciate it and subscribe as well because I will be having that the Microsoft points or the PlayStation Network gift card giveaway here uh, when I hit my first 20 subscribers on YouTube. So be sure to do that. Also down below in the description links to my Twitter and Facebook page. Uh, check that out. Now my first, uh, I think it's rather fitting for my first web video for What the Hell Wednesday. I'm going to, uh, or they announced, Microsoft made the announcement today that on May 21st at 10 a.m. Pacific, they are going to be revealing the new Xbox, which I think everybody knew was coming for quite a while. We were just more curious on when they were actually going to do it. And we finally have a date and time that we are going to get to hear all about Microsoft's new Xbox system. And I think it's pretty exciting. There's been a lot of rumors lately online about what exactly the system is going to have. Uh, one of them is it's going to have a newer, improved uh, Kinect, uh, Kinect 2, if you will. And then also there's been big debate on the system uh, it may have. Uh, you always have to have an always-on internet connection, which is huge. A lot of people are upset about it. Um, my personal feeling is that if Microsoft does put that in the new Xbox, that it's not going to be too big of a deal for me because whenever I do get online and play my xbox is always connected to the internet so it's not not too big of an issue now on the same note that if your internet goes out then what are you going to do you won't be able to play at all on your xbox play any games uh watch any movies or streaming obviously because you don't have internet connection um i do have a fairly reliable internet connection with a 30 meg download so i'm not really too worried about it but it'll be interesting to see what Microsoft decides to do with this, if they do do it or if they don't do it, um, we'll have to wait wait until May to find out. And also there's been a lot of rumors circulating, not only for the new Xbox, but for the PS4, about the, uh, you can't, can't play any used games, like you couldn't borrow a friend's game, or you couldn't um, go to GameStop, or... You, even really like Gamefly you wouldn't be able to use because it's like a one-time use and a lot of people are upset about that too so it'll be interesting to see I mean obviously nothing's confirmed about it so we'll just have to wait and see now also um, it sounds like Microsoft's not going to be doing any game re game reveals uh, that will be debuting with the Xbox we will have to wait until E3 which is 19 days later and it sounds like that's when all the the new games for the Xbox, uh, whatever they decide to call this new generation, will be. So we'll have to wait a little longer for games, but I think it's safe to say they'll be with the history of the Xbox. There'll probably be a new Forza game, um, Halo maybe, but I'm guessing not since Halo Four just came out. But I'd be willing to bet there will be a new Call of Duty game out for it, and I, as well as Battlefield Four would be another safe assumption to make for what games are going to be coming out. Now, uh, if you have any other thoughts or what what you think you would like to see or hope you don't see with the new Xbox system, post in the comments below, and uh, maybe next week if we get enough feedback, we'll talk about some of the comments. But I, I think everybody, though, in general is very excited to hear this announcement and see what, what we are going to get with the new Xbox gaming system. I know whenever it comes out, I will be sure to try and get it immediately, hopefully... Um, there won't be too many issues for people buying it. I mean, it will be around holidays, so who knows if uh, there's going to be a delay to buy the buy the new console system. Now, 
don't forget, I said that I would be giving away $20, uh, 1600 Microsoft points or $20 PSN gift card when I hit 20 subscribers. So even if you don't really care for my videos, subscribe and you might, you might get to win, uh, free points to buy arcade games, DLC, whatever you may buy some movies. Um, I'm just trying to build up my follower followers and subscribers and I've also decided that I said in one of my last videos that I will be also giving away doing a Twitter giveaway but I think for Twitter though I'm going to do um, 50 or 100 followers well I guess we'll kind of play it by year and see how it goes um, I, I'd really like to see the 20 YouTube subscribers first um, and as far as topics for my what the hell Wednesdays I guess I'm just gonna have to kind of play it by week for right now for what my topics will be every week um, unless I get some very good uh, suggestions from people watching my videos uh, I might be able to use some of those or I may just do once in a while just do some video game commentary if there's nothing else too exciting to talk about or on my mind now for this, I'm kind of curious. Do you guys like to watch, um, obviously it's a gameplay video, but it is combat training. Myself, uh, Mitchell, who's been in my other videos, and another buddy of ours, Matt Lee 10 um, we get bored once in a while, so we go in and play combat training. And honestly, combat training, I, I'm not the greatest Call of Duty player in the world, be the first to admit it, but, uh, we use combat training. Let me know what you think of that. And as always, be sure to like and subscribe my videos.